Here's how I make this Garanji Ghost text effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size, select the type tool, type in something, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. By the way, I went with the Canyon Coffee Bold Italic. And from here, we're gonna go to the text layer, right click on it, and select Convert a Smart Object. Press Ctrl J to duplicate. And I'm gonna go and select the second layer, and let's go to the filter, Blur Gallery, and select Path Blur. And first here we're gonna uncheck the centered blur and also uncheck edit blur shapes. And I'm gonna go to this arrow and drag it. And this way you can change the blur orientation. And I'm gonna go to the speed and I'm gonna increase it all the way up. And you also can go to the arrow and you can bend it and customize it however you like. And now we're gonna go and check the edit blur shapes box. And now you can drag this arrow as well and make some crazier customizations. You also got this arrow going on. You can pull this as well. And you also got the option with the taper. If you increase it, you can see some of this blur is going to fade away. I think I'm gonna go with 15. Let's click OK. And I'm gonna go and select both of the text layers, press and hold Shift. And let's go to the blend mode and change it to dissolve. And as you can see, we're also gonna find here the blur extension. So I'm gonna go to the layer with the blur gallery. I'm gonna select the smart filter and let's go and select the brush tool and make sure that you're on the black. I'm gonna increase the brush, decrease the hardness, and I'm gonna delete this area right here. I also want to blur out the top text because right now it's kind of sharp. I'm gonna select it and let's go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. Here I'm gonna go and increase it somewhere around 3, 3.4, click OK. And I'm gonna remain on this top text layer. Let's select it and let's go and add another mask on it. So make sure that you're on this mask here. And again, let's go and select the brush tool. Make sure that you're on the black. We're gonna go to the opacity and decrease it somewhere around 10. And I'm gonna go and start removing some of these areas here. So the text is going to melt together with this grungy blur effect. All right, so after you are done, you can go to the layers and let's press and hold shift, select both text layers, right click on them and select convert a smart object. Now, right now, as you can see, this whole effect is too sharp. So we're going to go to the filter. Let's go to blur and select Gaussian blur again. And I'm going to decrease it just to make those grains look bigger. So basically, this is the 0 0.1. And I'm going to increase it a little bit and check this out. I think now it's better. 0 0.7. Click OK. And now I'm also going to add some sharpness. Let's go to the filter, sharpen and select on sharp mask. Let's go to the settings. I'm going to go to the amount. I'm going to go somewhere around 60 here and the threshold 24. Click OK. Great. Let's go to the adjustments. I'm going to go and select the selective colors. And let's go here to the colors. And first, I'm going to go with the white. And let's go to the black handle. And I'm going to go and increase the white a little bit more. And now I'm going to go to the colors, change it to neutrals. And again, I'm going to go to the black and I'm going to customize it a little bit more. And now I'm going to change it to blacks and do it again. Now let's go back to the adjustments, select the gradient map. Let's select the gradient and I'm going to go to the black, double click on it. And here you can change up the colors. I'm going to make the black a little bit lighter. Click OK. And I'm going to go and add another handle here. Go to the colors and I'm going to change it to blue. Click OK and let's go and drag this handle so it's going to reduce this strong blue. Click OK. And about least we're going to make this even more sharper. So I'm going to press and hold Alt, click on the new layer here, rename it as Noise. I'm going to go to the mode, change it to Overlay. Make sure to check this checkbox, click OK. And I'm going to right click on the Noise layer, convert a smart object. Let's go to the filter, Noise and select Add Noise. Make sure to uncheck monochrome and here you can add as much noise as you like. I'm going to go with 90, click OK. And if you zoom in, you can see it's a really nice and grainy. And this was it. Thanks for watching.